Okay, so let's start by installing the multiple forms extension. We can do that by hovering over Gravity Kit here and clicking on products and licenses. So this takes us to a, um, a screen here where we can manage all of our licenses and install, update and uh, deactivate uh, Gravity Kit products. So we can just click on the not install tab here and we'll just scroll down to multiple forms and click install now. Okay, so that's been installed and um, when it's finished installing the plugin or the extension will automatically activate. So we're done. Okay, great. So the extension has been installed and activated. So now we can create a view uh, using data from two or more forms in Gravity Forms. So let's hover over Views, click New View. And I'll give it a name. And choose a data source. I'll go ahead and choose the Client Details form. And I'll go ahead and select the Table Layout. Okay, so now the view editor loads and you can see we've got this button here, add join condition. So this is how we can join entries together from multiple forms. So I'll click on that. And there are two fields here. So we need to select a field to join on and then a form to join with. So the field should be a common field between both forms. So I'll go ahead and join on the email field because I know that both of my forms have an email address field. And the form I want to join on, that is going to be the client feedback form. Okay, great. And again, I'm going to select the email address field. Okay, perfect. So now if I scroll down, as you can see, there are two buttons here. One allows me to add fields from the client details form and the other one from the client feedback form. So let's add some info from the client details form first. I'll go ahead and add the first name and the email address. And then from the uh, client feedback form, I'll go ahead and add the feedback field. Okay, perfect. So let's publish the view. And when that's done, we'll check it out on the front end. All right, so here we go. As you can see, we've got the first name and email address field coming from our client details form. And that's joined together with the client feedback form and we're displaying the feedback column here. So some entries don't have any content for the feedback field here. Um, but it's still displaying those entries and we just have a blank, uh, a blank field here. So if you wanted to only display entries um, that had content from both forms, um, there's a way you can do that. So if you just head back to your view and scroll down to the settings. So here is an option, strict entry match, if we enable that. And then we'll come up, come back up and update the view and refresh. And there we go. So now we're only displaying entries that have content from form number one and content from form number two.